How do I get back unused disk space from Ubuntu on WSL2? I'm using Ubuntu 20.04 on WSL2 on Windows 10, and I noticed that after removing files on Ubuntu I was not getting the space back that was taken up by the removed files. For example, before I deleted files on Ubuntu it showed on Windows Explorer that my free space on the C column drive was around 46 GB. Then after I deleted around 10 GB of files, which in my case were some temporary Gatsby sites, it resulted in even less free space, around 45 GB, which I thought was very weird. So how can I get back those unused bits? Is there some terminal command which I can use or can I do something via the Windows GUI or something? There's a WSL GitHub issue open on this topic. WSL will automatically grow the virtual disk, x4.bhdx, but shrinking it to reclaim unused space is something that must currently be done manually. The first thing you'll need to do is know the location of your x4.bhdx. For a default Ubuntu installation, it should be in something like Percent profile percent backslash of tata backslash local backslash packages backslash canonic plummeted dot ubuntu on windows underscore 79 rhkp1 fndgse backslash local state backslash. And there are several techniques that you can use to remove the unused space. I recommend you start with a WSL shutdown and copy the VHDX as a backup to start. If you are running Docker desktop, also shut it down. Otherwise it may inadvertently attempt to restart WSL after your shutdown. If you are on Windows Professional or higher, you can install Hyper-V and use the optimized VHC command that is described in the original issue. On Windows Home and higher, you can use this part as described in this comment. Exporting the WSL distro and re-importing it into a new WSL instance, as in this comment, will also reclaim the space. Note that you will need to reset the default username after an import. See here. I have tested and confirmed both the second and third techniques personally. Activate Hyper-V module in Windows Features, Control Panel and GT, Turn Windows Features on or off in GT, Activate Hyper-V in GT, Restart. This is required to activate Optimize VHD command. Open Windows PowerShell as admin. First, press Windows Plus R to open Run, and then type PowerShell in the text box. Next, press Control plus Shift plus Enter. Windows PowerShell will open in admin mode. In PowerShell, run following commands. WSL.x shutdown CD into x4.vhdx folder that typically is CDC column backslash users backslash and LT user and GT semicolon backslash at data backslash local backslash packages backslash canonical group limited dot Ubuntu 20.04 on Windows underscore 79 RHKP1 FNDGSC backslash local state backslash Optimize VHD path dot backslash x4 dot VHDX mode full. Make sure the x4 dot VHDX is not clicked on by mouse, because that would lead to the error of the file is being used by another process in PowerShell. When the command let optimize VHD is not available in your system do the following. Shut down the WSL before managing its disk. Save the following script as compact disk.txt. Open prompt as administrator and run the saved script above. You can use full compact utility. It doesn't require an elevated prompt and ensures minimum size, about 2% more than what, df slash, reports inside the WSL distro.
It compacts way more than disk part or optimized VHD commands. If you want to support PJ Runner, you can consider subscribing.